Love and Initiation Part 1 In this I will speak of love and in Part 2 on Initiation. Have you ever been in love? If you are, then you can feel that love actually flows between two bodies. It is the lowest layer. The higher than body is emotions and higher than that is the level of energy. It is at this level, it is an actual flow. Energy is being transmitted, transferred, received, given. But love is on the same level, the physical level. You both remain the peak of ego and still love can happen. But this is not the way to go deeper into love. And unless you know how to go deep into love, you will not be able to understand what initiation is. A man should make love the way a painter paints. When he feels the urge filling his heart, or the poet composes a poetry, or a musician plays the music, the woman's body should be taken as a canvas to paint as a musical instrument it is when the man is feeling joy then sex does not remain a mere release a relaxation a sleep method then it is much more he dances with the women he sings with the beautiful music, vibrating the love temple with the incense that love is. Love is the incense. He should be something. This love should be something of the sacred nature because there is Nothing sacred in our, in our ordinary life. And you have the opportunity to make an, a sacred happening. And that will be the beginning of the opening of the door to the whole phenomena of super, super consciousness. When you are able to make your love sacred, just as a painter paints on the canvas or a poet composes a poetry or a musician vibrates the instrument and plays with it, only then there will be the opening of the door of whole con phenomena of super consciousness love should never be forced it should never be an attempt it should never be in the mind at all you are playing dancing singing enjoying part of this long love it happens when this happens, it is beautiful. When love happens really, it has a beauty. When it is made, it is ugly. So unless your love transforms, then it will transform from the level of the physical, or the gross level to the second layer which is deeper and that deeper layer is emotions 
this is how the journey takes place so if you know this and your love is an act of painting or poetry or an interlude that you are playing on the musical instrument then you will be able to understand initiation love happens between the people at the same plane both are at the peak of their ego is still even in that state love can happen initiation is a transfer of inner energy actual energy and the master can enter in you and unless he enters in you and you allow him to enter the transformation is not possible he can enter in you and transform you if you are ready and receptive but this requires a deep trust more trust then it is needed in the love in love the trust is not much initiation you need a deep trust more trust than it is needed in love because you do not know what is going to happen in love you know what is going to happen or what may happen but initiation you do not know what is going to happen you are a seed seed has to blossom you are completely in dark and with the master you are not at the same level and if you try to be at the same level initiation becomes impossible love is possible and it becomes even more difficult when your love and the master is the same then you have to perform the two functions love as well as initiation then in that situation love attains a new dimension in that case love attains a new dimension this is what has been happening in the ancient sages they did not they spouse did not look for another master her husband lover was her master initiation becomes impossible initiation is possible only when specifically for that purpose you are at a lower level just humble surrendered open to receive when the disciple is feminine the master is the male factor of initiation this secret of initiation has been completely lost because the more we are educated the more we are civilized the more we are cultured in the same proportion we are we become more egoistic and now to surrender has become very very difficult almost impossible it has always been difficult but now it is even more initiation is the transfer of the energy actual energy the master can enter you only the master knows what is going to happen and what he is doing he knows you cannot know and there are things that cannot be said about what is going to happen because with human mind there are many problems and obstructions as well one problem is this that if something is said before it happens it will change the happening it cannot be said therefore first master gives you an experience a realization 
and then gives the explanation. This is the way of the esoteric teaching. First, an experience is given to you. You are asked to stay in a particular meditation with the Master. After you have experienced something, then the Master explains. So there are many things which the Master can do to you but cannot say to you. He can do them to you but he cannot tell you or say that to you at all. That doing what Master does without letting you know is initiation. He actually moves in you, in your body, in your mind. He cleans you, changes you, transforms you. Only thing required is your total trust because without trust there is no opening. He cannot enter you. Your doors are closed and he cannot force. If the energy is forced through the process of initiation, it can cause more damage. You are always defending yourself. Life is a struggle. I struggle for survival. To survive, this struggle makes you completely close because from all around, you had been disappointed. So you have completely closed yourself. You are closed, you are afraid, you are vulnerable. Someone may enter, someone may do something within you. So you shrink. You close yourself. Just hiding behind, constantly defending yourself. In initiation, you have to lose this defense, this armor of defense that you have created around you, the invisible armor. This has to be thrown away. You become vulnerable. Then Master can enter in you and the process of transformation begins. Initiation is the beginning of the process of transformation. And with initiation, the process of transformation is accentuated. It attains a different kind of a speed. And you move at such a pace that you cannot even imagine how things have transformed in such a short period of time. It is sometimes you may feel this is unimaginable. I could never imagine that this would have happened to me ever in my life. But this is the miracle, this is the beauty of initiation. This is the beauty of losing your armors, your defense, and allow the master to enter into you because it is a mystical process. Nothing can be said, but the things can be done. So you have to remember that there is a vast difference between love and initiation. Love happens between two people at the same plane. Initiation happens between master and disciple, both operating at different planes, high, one higher than the other.